We are Luca and Sara. We miss our ultra camper, the beast, Lucky Liu, but we know that he's safe in Argentina. In the meantime, we are working on some new projects here in Italy, hoping to be able to travel again soon. Good morning, beautiful people! Another great day here at Lucky Land in the mountains in Italy. Today we will show you one of our next projects in the house, but first we would like to give you an update about our orto, our vegetable garden. As you can see here, the plants are growing uh, and some of them uh, are ready to be transplanted uh, in the soil. As you can see up here, some uh, are getting already big. Wow. We will be planting. Uh, I prepare all this side. So today we will be putting a lot of stuff there. Are you ready, Sara? Of course, always ready. So let's go. Take me anywhere that you want. I don't even care if we come back again. And as long as the stars are shining above us, then I just want to be with you. some chickpeas uh, here, all these little plants, and now we will start uh, planting those over here. We have some black climbing beans and some beans, the green one. We planted some cauliflower over there, and then we will plant other tomatoes here. You remember the aphids on the artichokes? They were pretty intense, so we tried with garlic, we tried with nettles, but it's in, the situation improved, but was not working 100%. So we still want something natural, not toxic, not dangerous for us or for animals. So we bought this neem oil, olio di neem, that is 100% vegetal and it's 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 not it's not dangerous for us or for animals or for the plants and we are trying this since few days and it's working pretty good we have just one artichoke that is suffering a lot i will show you but you see it's growing but we have still the aphids here this one is really healthy right now. I'm so excited you know about the artichokes. I never seen a plant of artichokes with artichokes actually growing and we can wait to to harvest the first one and to eat. Luca and I we love to eat them raw not cooked a kind of a salad an artichoke salad but we will show you as soon as we harvest the first one. Then I would like to show you the strawberries. Okay This is ready.
We are not using any fertilizer, no. just the soil, natural soil. Organic. Uh, yeah. Soil. How is the composter? Is working? Yes. Uh, every day I yeah. fill it up completely, and every day it goes down a little bit. You want to show me? Yeah, I will show you. Ta-da! As you can see, it's uh, it's going down. By the end of the day, I will fill it up uh, yeah. all the way to the top uh, because I still have to put some stuff. And then uh, tomorrow morning, it will go down and be like this. So slowly, slowly, it's, uh, it's going down. That's great. And we are not using the, the accelerator. No, no, no. Right now, we are just throwing in there, putting some water, and that's it. The past few days were pretty intense overwhelming really emotional for the two of us we were able to meet our families again or at least not everyone but more people my mom lucas grandmother mm. italian strawberries here are the images good morning beautiful people today is a super special day because i'm going to see my mom after a long time i can't wait and today is her birthday and then tonight we're going to see my nonna and my some nonna. Of, yes my grandmother and uh, some uh, family like uh, uncles uh, cousins um, aunts yes so uh, it's it's a family day we are super excited we miss them a lot they are in the same region, yes. so we are able to drive there for uh, all the family that are outside the, the same region we are. We are in Piemonte, Piedmont. We will have to wait until the authorities will allow us to drive uh, through regions. Yeah, so my brother and my father, they are in two different regions. So I don't know when we will be able to see them. I hope really soon. They are saying that the first week or the second week of June they will open the regions. Mm, but it's but not official no, yet. It's, it's not official. So for the moment we can enjoy Mum Mum, Lucas family. They are pretty old in this region. Yes. So I can wait to to show you all the hugging time today. Ci mettiamo. Ah. Ci mettiamo là. Sta che scendo. Sta già piangendo. Vieni che la vado ad abbracciare. Oh mio Dio. Ciao. Non piangere. Mamma. Piangere. Mi piangere anche a me. Ciao. Ciao. Oh. Say hello. Ciao. <laughs> Finalmente. Stai bene? Sei contenta? Da morire. Tanti auguri. Grazie mille. Ok guys, so this is a Jeep Willis. It's from um, United States. Willis. It could be our next vehicle. Oh, 1942, guys. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. 1942. These are the first wheel is uh, coming from the United States. Uh, you can see here. During during the war. It's four by four. It's four wheel drive. Uh, All original. And as you can see here, it's miles. Uh, Forty. Because in Max. Italy we have kilometers, but uh, here it's all from uh, US. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Got no money, but I'll work it out with my charm. Having a good time and doing no harm. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car, looking for some kind of open bar. It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright. Money, but I'll work it out with my charm Having a good time and doing no harm It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright We 
left my mom's home. I'm super happy, happy birthday mom, 68 years old and now we are here with uh, Luca's family, another part of Luca's family. We are having dinner here with my nonna, with some, uh, his, uh, my mother, mother's brother, my uncles, my, my aunts. Uh, and we are, as you can see, we are eating uh, with the social distance. Uh. Ciao. 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 <laughs> Ciao. Are you happy? Super happy. Thank you so much for the dinner to everyone. Thank you. You know, I just said to my nonna, I'm coming to visit you and she made a quick uh, dessert uh, in a in few minutes. This is crazy. It's uh, strawberries. Uh, it's a kind, it's of a kind of strawberry tiramisu. Strawberry tiramisu. Cheers. Cheers, baby. <laughs> These ones Thank are you. meringa. You can see all the dogs here are just waiting for uh, have something. <laughs> She's like, uh, ah, I will sit down here and be a, a cute, uh, good, uh, polite uh, dog. So somebody will give me something. This is a meringa. <laughs> And it's made of egg whites and then with sugar and then stay in the oven for three hours. This is meringa. Nonna is giving us the recipe so we can repeat this at home. This is a special cake that my cousin Marella made. I'm cleaning a little bit more area so we can uh, plant more stuff. We have a lot of tomato plants that we want to do there. Yeah. And uh, what I'm doing, uh, I take off all the soil and I take off all the roots from the soil. I put it here in the, in the compost. Uh, so we have, uh, as you can see, all soil without roots. A lot of people ask me how I tied my hair up. So now I will show you how. Step number one. Sara! Sara, please. Coming. Can you help me? Step number two. Step number two. Choo choo choo. This is the way, guys. Ta-da-dan, 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 ta-da-dan. And I do this 20 times every day. Run. Done, easy. <laughs> Just call Sara. Tomatoes are planted, our beans, chickpeas, our tomatoes, cauliflower. And then we are preparing also this area for the next plants. But now let's see the future project. Da -da -da -dun, da -da -da -dun. What do we have underneath? It is a washing machine, a washer, finally, after years washing at laundromat or in the shower by hands. Now we bought on Amazon this laundry machine. So I'm super happy, but we have a problem. The problem is uh, that we have the washing machine, but we don't have the laundry room. As you can see, this is a kind of uh, basement, uh, canteen, uh, storage. Uh, it's a mess. Uh, it's uh, all raw. We have to finish the walls. Uh, the, this is all the plumbing that I've done uh, for um, all the, the toilets. Uh, we have a toilet uh, in here that now it's completely full with boxes. Uh, it's a mess. With tools, uh, things that we have been using. Uh, we still have some material here to build uh, dry walls uh, also here, but we will need to measure. First of all, f step one uh, will be taking everything outside. Here you can see some insulating uh, panels, material. So first of all, we will have to bring everything outside, uh, take measurements, uh, make a plan uh, and see what 
is the material we already have and Throw what everything down. yes and uh, what the material we still have to buy so our next project will be the renovation the makeover of the laundry room slash archive slash storage room and will be <laughs> challenging um, but we are up to to it we will do it yes over here we have the entrance that goes outside straight away unfortunately when uh, we were traveling uh, abroad uh, thieves uh, came here and they stole many of our tools so here we still have a lot of boxes uh, but uh, we they didn't bring away the tools that are not working so we still have some tools that are not working some boxes of the tools that were kind of new so we will have to buy the materials and also the tools uh, for this project we are trying to contact some companies uh, to see if uh, we'll be able to do some collaborations uh, but since now we haven't been lucky we haven't got some replies yet so let's hope before letting you go guys we would like to teach you another italian recipe we made it a few days ago and the italian recipe for today is parmigiana di melanzane here is the recipe My beautiful people, I will teach you today how to make parmigiana di melanzane. We will prepare a light version of the parmigiana di melanzane because I will prepare it for tonight. Let's see which ingredients we need for this delicious and amazing meal. Eggplants, mozzarella, basil, passata di pomodoro, parmigiano reggiano, salt, onion, extra virgin olive oil. You know that we love simple, easy, healthy recipe here at Lucky Land. I will teach you how to cook the right way, the Italian meals that we used to eat. It's a kind of lasagna. We did the tiramisu, it was a kind of a lasagna. We have to make lasagna. Eggplants, we will do it grilled, not fried. A layer of sugo and a layer of cheese, in this case it's mozzarella, and you repeat. Layer of eggplants, layer of sugo, layer of mozzarella and on the top we will use the parmigiano reggiano, another really typical cheese, Italian cheese. First of all we need to cut the eggplants and leave it with some salt because they will lose the bitter taste, the water that is bitter, so it's better if you leave the melanzane, the eggplants for one slash two hours and in the meantime that the melanzane, the eggplants will lose this bittery water, we will cook a really simple sugo with passata di pomodoro, onion and basil. Thin like this. I will use three eggplants. You will put your slices of eggplant in a plate like this and you cover with some salt. this and then we'll put something that is heavy a weight on the top if you have like books if you have something heavy that you can put up here it's perfect while the eggplants are resting we will prepare super super easy sugo let's cut the onion one onion is enough we prepare the sofrito for our sugo that means one slice of garlic, onion, and extra virgin olive oil. We let cook all together for five minutes. Let's close it. Bam. See the onion and the garlic, they are blonde. Say love muti, passata, you can use the tomato sauce that you like. You just add some water. Ah. And here you go. But you don't waste anything and you use all the product. This. Salt. And basil. 
pepper if you like and you let cook the sugo for 30 minutes and our sugo is done in the meantime that the eggplants are resting the sugo is cooking I will cut the mozzarella and I will prefer the parmigiano reggiano this is the cheese that I missed more, that we missed more mozzarella, mozzarella the Italian mozzarella is in water Mozzarella is ready. This Parmigiano Reggiano is 36 months old, so it's a really good quality. We miss also Parmigiano. Mozzarella, Parmigiano, Sugo. I don't know if you can see but sprinkling a good amount of salt over eggplant slicers before they're cooked does draw out some of its moisture and lessens the bitterness of, of the eggplants. So before we cook them, we will need to absorb all of this water away. So one by one, until they are dry and ready to be cooked. Our eggplants are ready to be cooked. I prefer the grilled version of the eggplants, not the fried version, but this is just my taste. You can do the way you prefer. I think that grill, they are less greasy, of course, they are just more healthy, especially if you eat the parmigiana di melanzane uh, for dinner. <laughs> Otherwise, I think you won't sleep good. I will grill the eggplants here, the sugo is still cooking, and then we will prepare our parmigiana di melanzane. Eggplants are ready. Some olive oil. And now that we have all the ingredients ready, we can build, we can make our parmigiana di melanzane. We have grilled eggplants. Sugo, mozzarella and parmigiano reggiano. It's like doing a lasagna. Yes. Or tiramisu. <laughs> or the tiramisu. <laughs> we love, like, you know, we are Italian, we love to create all these layers. If you want to see how to make a tiramisu, click up there. Mozzarella. Some parmesan and some sugo again. Wow, guys, the the perfume, the smell, it's so good. At the end, I cook the sugo for forty five minutes. I put the fresh basil from the garden. Yes. From the garden directly to the belly. We will, <laughs> we will have also our eggplants. No, not soon, but... It takes a lot to yeah. grow eggplants this big. We'll do two layers. Get super good also the day after. It's yeah. like the tiramisu. It's even better. This wow. Way. Here I will do first the sugo and then the cheese. Because we have, it's better when you have the parmigiano, the parmesan and the cheese on the top, so it will melt. Because this will melt. be the last layer, yeah. so... Two layers I think is perfect. And yes, it's easy, because in Italy we love to cook everything easy with good quality ingredients. Less sometimes is better. Can you tell me how is the sugo? Wow, I love it. Yeah? Super good. Yeah. Wow. I will need some bread uh, to make scarpetta. Yes. In Italian, uh, when you clean uh, with the bread uh, and you eat it, uh, you call scarpetta. That it means uh, kind of shoes, uh, little shoes. It's true. Literally. Literally. 
but the meaning is totally different. All right. What do you think? I think it's super good. Uh, I taste uh, each ingredient and each of them are perfect. And just it's to nice. let you know, guys, uh, the Italian flag is green, uh, white, and red. So here we have the Italian flag uh, yes. colors. Last step, we'll put in the oven for 30 minutes. Ready. And voila. Ready. Let's eat it. We need to wait 10 minutes, otherwise we will burn. Yeah, let's mouth. wait uh, also 20 minutes uh, yes. and then we will dig in. Yes. A song, a song, a song Delicious. for this moment. <laughs> La vie c'est fantastique. A song, a song. A song. Le mio. Try this and let us know how it is. Okay, beautiful people, we wish you a wonderful Sunday. Remember that now we are posting the videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. So Wednesday and Sunday with you. Yes, so we will see you next Wednesday. We hope that you like our new project, our orto, our vegetable garden and the recipe that we show you today. We hope to get to 50,000 soon and maybe next one. 100 100,000 and guys remember that subscribing is completely for free and this will mean a lot to us if you like the video please give us a thumbs up and please consider to subscribe to our youtube channel if you haven't done already we love you guys uh, la vita è bella we appreciate you life is beautiful ciao ciao see you next one see you wednesday ciao